Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Karshina with Verse Films Productions and you've made it back to another horror pick of the week. So let's go ahead and get this started. When contact with the spaceship USG Ishimura is lost after a necromorph outbreak, Earth sends the ship USG O'Bannon to investigate, but contact is lost with them as well. Directed by Mike Disa, written by Brandon Allman, Mike Disa, and Chuck Beaver, and contains the voices of Christopher Judge from The Dark Knight, Ricardo Chavira from Piranha 3D, Gwendolyn Yeo, Star Wars and Clone Wars, Kurt Cornelius from NCIS, and Graham McTavish from The Hobbit. Dead Space Aftermath 2011 is yet another animated Dead Space movie, which is meant to serve as a kind of prequel story that bridges the gap between the Dead Space 2008 video game and its sequel, Dead Space 2, which was released shortly after this movie. Film Roman is at it again. This time, they have gone back to the Dead Space franchise and crafted yet another prequel similar to their prior work on the prequel to Dead Space 1 called Dead Space Downfall. Dead Space Aftermath is a loose prequel to Dead Space 2 that utilizes the Animatrix technique. The film is divided into multiple parts and each is made differently, some with 2D animation and some with 3D animation. Set after the events of Dead Space 1, the USS O'Bannon is sent to the planet Aegis 7 to prevent it from destabilizing. This is a cover for their true mission of retrieving fragments of an alien artifact presumed destroyed in the first game. Contact is lost with the O'Bannon until it is rescued by a team of space marines. Within, only four survivors are promptly captured and taken for interrogation. As each survivor reveals the horrific events that transpired on the O'Bannon, each of their flashbacks are rendered in four unique animation styles from some of the teams that worked on Dante's Inferno and animated Epic. The animation in this movie switches between some awful looking CGI and some actually fairly decent animation during the character's flashback sequences. This movie was released in 2010 by EA. You do have to see the first movie in order to understand the plot of this one as a suggestion. And if you are an avid gamer, try to play the video games as well. The ending to Dead Space Aftermath is entertaining and the movie has an event horizon feel to it in a lot of ways. This concludes our Space Horror Week for this year's Screamtober. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week during our Halloween streaming video week. Take care.